After establishing the plastic covered raised beds and planting, the next step is to construct the low tunnel over the row. Before starting construction, make sure to have on hand all the materials you'll need. The first thing you need to do is cut 12 inch lengths of black polyethylene tubing. These will be used as stoppers on your 10 foot steel rod hoops. You will need two stoppers per rod. Once you have these stoppers cut, drill a 5 16 inch hole through the center of each stopper. The stoppers will need to fit tightly onto the 3 16 inch steel rod. Slide the stoppers onto the steel rods prior to installing the rods in the ground, one at either end. Once you have placed your stoppers, insert the rods at an angle into the ground. Push one end of the rod about two feet into the soil so it angles into and beneath the raised bed. Bend the other end of the rod over the row and insert it into the soil in the same manner until the top of the hoop is two foot above the raised bed. The stoppers should rest on top of the soil. Continue inserting rods the entire length of the row, placing one rod every five feet. Next, install a ground anchor at each end of your raised bed, about five feet from the end of the bed. Each row will need two anchors, one on each end. This next step is best done on a calm day, and you'll need a crew of at least four people to make the process go smoothly. Unroll the clear plastic down the row over the top steel hoops. With two or more people working on each side of the row, unfold the plastic completely so it drapes over the hoops down to the soil, making sure to keep it all in place as you move down the row. Gather the plastic at the end of the bed and hold tightly while securely tying with the plastic rope. Fold up the end of the plastic back onto itself and continue securing with rope. Then tie the end of that rope to a spring tensioner. There should be some length of rope between the plastic and the tensioner for this to work properly. While the plastic is held down, fasten the spring tensioner to the ground anchor with rope. Leave a few feet of rope between the tensioner and the ground anchor. Repeat this process on the end of the raised bed, pulling the plastic very taut. Now that your tunnel is secured to the ground anchors, it's time to roll up the excess plastic on the sides. The best method for rolling up the plastic is to have two people on each side rolling up one five foot section at a time. Roll the plastic up towards the inside of the tunnel until it is approximately 20 inches off the ground. Rolling it toward the inside prevents rainwater from filling up the roll. To hold this position, slide the black stopper up on the steel rod to hold the plastic in place. Using black electrical tape, secure the stopper to the rod by wrapping the tape above, below, and around the stopper several times. Next, you need to secure your tunnel with twine. This makes the entire tunnel structure sturdier. Cut a length of twine approximately nine foot long. Position the center of the piece of twine at a stopper. Loop the twine around the stopper twice with equal lengths of twine in both hands. Then bring the twine over the top of the plastic so there is twine on either side of the steel hoop. Take the two loose ends of the twine and secure them around the opposite stopper by looping the twine around the stopper twice and tying off with a secure knot. Continue this procedure at every hoop until all hoops and stoppers are secured with twine. Using an additional piece of twine, secure the twine on either side of the steel rods by tying it to the adjacent twine. Do this between all the steel rods. For added support at the ends of the row, we'll use a bit more twine to secure the plastic. Halfway between the last steel hoop and the spring tensioner, gather the plastic and tie it tightly with twine. Use another piece of twine to connect this to the first length of twine that crosses over the top of the tunnel. Finally, on the underside of the tunnel, tie a length of twine directly to the last steel hoop and secure that to the twine where you just gathered the plastic together. Do this on both ends and your low tunnel is complete.